Chester, once city of the Romans and the famous 20th Legion, now an attractive town of picturesque streets and Roman treasures. This ancient city within the walls was arranged with the simplicity and directness of its founders, streets crossing each other at right angles and intersecting in the middle. In the four principal thoroughfares, the dominating feature is the old half-timbered houses, which give a picturesque and individual character to the city. Most of them are carved and panelled to an extent rarely seen, and in spite of modern traffic demands, Chester has retained these fine specimens of old gabled architecture. Chester has one exclusive feature, its peculiar but useful rows. Approached by steps from the street, there are continuous galleries formed as it were by the ground floor ceiling and covered by the story above. At the back are lines of shops, whilst the front is open to the street and protected by balustrades. They have utility as well as picturesqueness, for the good citizens can shop without regard to the weather. The origin of the rose is really a mystery which has led to many controversies among antiquarians. The town hall is comparatively modern in construction, but the cathedral, though largely rebuilt, has a foundation and history of over a thousand years. Apart from recognised buildings, there are innumerable signs of the city's antiquity, cobbled paths and historic homes. Another advantage Chester has in is its possession of walls, perfect in their entire circuit. When the Romans used the city as a bulwark against the hostile northern tribes, the walls were strong defences. Today they make a delightful promenade of nearly two miles. Historic, picturesque and attractive, that is Chester, city on the River Dee.